Hi everyone! Hi everyone! How are you guys doing? Um, as you can see, the sun is out today. Phil and I were commenting that we haven't seen it in so long. We weren't sure what it was. I have sunglasses on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should have brought mine, but we haven't had sun in so long, so we're feeling pretty good today. It's a good day to be out and about. Um, and we just wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, what's going on this Sunday. So, Phil, what's happening? It's the third Sunday in Advent, mm -hmm. and we continue calm and bright. We continue to look at Silent Night on its 200th anniversary. 200th. And we'll talk a lot more about that on Christmas Eve. Right. But we're third Advent this Sunday, and we're in the third verse of Silent Night. And we're focusing on the second line where it says, Son of God loves pure light and I really like that phrase loves pure light mm -hmm. and what's interesting is that it's directly connected to Son of God so in this infant is the picture of the purest form of love yeah. and that's what we're going to talk about the, the purest form of love and how we can experience that and how we can share that with other people mm -hmm. loves pure light That'll be, that'll be good, especially as it's been so gray lately, I need all the light that I can get. So that's so, very nice. <laughs> yes. So you and I were both in Boar's Head. Oh, yeah. And I hope uh, you guys got to see it. It was it was. And if, if somebody's watching and they have no idea what Boar's Head is, how would you describe it? Okay, Boar's Head is like, how would I describe it? It's like a Christmas pageant, but not a Christmas pageant. Um, and it's like involved in medieval times. So it's putting on a Christmas pageant in medieval times. Lots of amazing, amazing music and just community people getting together to put this on who are so talented. I mean, professional level talent is, is what was there. It was and, and fantastic. And it's hundreds and hundreds of people. And Doug Scott's the composer of all the music. And, and he's our organist. It, it's spectacular. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you played in the bell choir. I played in the bell choir, yep, bring my bell. That's right, and I was Father Christmas in it, mm -hmm. which is really an eye candy part, not a speaking part. But yeah, our pastor makes good eye candy, so <laughs> the kids loved him. He had tons of pictures with kids afterwards. Oh, lots of pictures. Yeah. But well, there were two things that were really great about that for me. Yeah. And I'll say one, and then you say the other one about what somebody told you about it. Oh, yeah, okay? yeah. Um, out of all the places I've been, this is far and away the best ecumenical or interfaith thing I've been a part of. Usually that kind of stuff is pretty dry and pretty low common denominator and, and nobody comes. But here is all the churches on the island and lots of people not connected to any church, all participating and sharing the Christmas story. Yeah. And it's beautiful. It, it is. But what makes it beautiful is the story itself and the people who enact it and put it on. And that's the whole thing about Christmas. Christmas isn't something that we watch. Right. Yeah. It's something we, we that, do. Right. We do Christmas. That's exactly it. And so uh, the to be in it is to actually do it and to share it with others and it, it is just a blast and and very meaningful now that's one thing yeah but somebody told you something yeah beautiful. so uh every uh thursday at our um a group of ladies from our church any lady is invited uh we have lunch ladies and we go to lloyd's a bar on the island and have lunch and we're discussing boar's head and one of the women said that seeing boar's head um was made Christmas real to her. That Christmas had actually started after she saw the Boar's Head production, which I just thought was so great because yeah. it's true. If you don't have anything um, that you're really, like in my house, there's no Christmas decorations. So Boar's Head was that for me too. Oh, it's Christmas now. So it was really, really beautiful. So it's a great experience and we're looking forward to it again in three years, four years? We don't know, three whenever, or four years. Whenever the next time Whenever is. the next time is. So, um, so yeah, so, well, we won't be able to put on quite as big a production um, uh, ourselves. We hope that you'll come and join us and be a part of our Advent services and our Christmas Eve services. That's right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.